With the power of the real Black Pearl and a certain curse ball, this tall tale will win you hourglass matches in Sea of Thieves. But how? So this is the real Black Pearl, found at the very end of the Lords of the Sea tall tale. This indestructible, unmovable fortress is lined with cannons both at the top and mid deck. It takes no damage from cannonballs and creates the calmest waters you ever see in this game. And because we can make this ship spawn whenever we want, we can catch enemy crews completely off guard. And <laughs> I am sorry that they're so toxic. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But it's not that simple. You see, if we get invaded at the real Black Pearl, most crews won't come close to it. And because you can't steer the ship, if they wait at the front or the back of the real Black Pearl, then you really can't do much with it. However, if we get invaded at the previous section of this tool tale and keep the enemy crew on their toes by forcing them to chase not only us, but Davy Jones's ship, the Flying Dutchman too, then when we decide to progress the tool tale to the real Black Pearl, the enemy enemy crew should be sufficiently enraged by our ship constantly running away from them that they want to continue chasing us. No, I'm not here, bro, because you're running the whole time, so it's not fun. This is funny. On top of that, there's a good chance they won't know what exactly is happening, because as I mentioned in my previous video, PvP crews don't play tool tales. So because of this psychological tactic and surprise factor, we can trap the enemy crew in the broadside of the real Black Pearl. All we need is this. In the second part of this very special Tales of Getting Booty. Subscribe. Now, in my previous video, we explored the strengths of the Lords of the Sea tool tale and how they can be applied within Hourglass PvP. However, this video is going to focus exclusively on the real Black Pearl because there is a lot of hidden potential this ship can bring you, especially when you apply one singular curse ball to the enemy's ship. And I'm not talking about Wraith Balls, though we do happen to have some of those too. But anyway, we'll get to all of that in a moment. You see, ever since that one enemy crew progressed the tool tale to the Black Pearl by sinking Davy Jones ship, I've been enamored with the idea of using the Black Pearl to win, and not just by chance, but with a legitimate strategy. And we'd been testing different strategies for the past two weeks over on twitch.tv slash Sinclair. Now, it turns out that if the enemy crew invades you while you're already at the real Black Pearl, they won't approach. And I mean it makes sense. They spawn in on an invasion and see a giant ship that absolutely dwarfs a regular galleon? Yeah, I wouldn't rush in either. This means waiting at the real Black Pearl to be invaded was out of the question. We needed to be invaded during the meat of the tool tale and then transition to the real Black Pearl when the time was right. And on our next attempt, we did just that. However, the next glaring weakness of the real Black Pearl revealed itself. Due to its inability to turn, it can be quite hard to immobilize an enemy ship with it. And even if you do immobilize them with a D-mast, they can end up drifting out of its broadside. On top of that, if an enemy player comes over to the real Black Pearl, you have to defend this thing like your life depends on it. Because if you die and leave the pearl, then the tool tale will end and the real black pearl will leave. However, there's one curse ball that puts a fix to these issues. You see, the anchor ball works differently to simply demasting the enemy ship, in that it stops the ship dead in its tracks, allowing us to pelt the enemy ship with the real black pearl's broadside, forcing the enemy crew to stay on their ship or risk sinking. On top of that, the real black pearl takes no damage, giving us essentially an indestructible fortress on demand. It's a perfect strategy. All we had to do was put it to the test. Now, with an anchor ball in our possession, which we obtained by simply scuttling and changing seas until an outpost we spawned on had one, my friends Seeraw and fellow content creator Fawina awaited at the Lords of the Sea tool tale until we were invaded. However, this was only the first step of our plan. You see, while the enemy crew chased us around the coral spire, we were actually progressing the tool tale. I mean, the enemy crew was getting really frustrated. Shut up. They were mad at us for running, which meant they were keen to continue chasing us. And that means the real Black Pearl should catch them off guard. Right, I'm on. Water sent. That's a bot I incoming. I'm on. I was currently hidden on the real Black Pearl. And as predicted, the enemy crew was enraged and in full on chase mode as they circled the Black Pearl in pursuit of our ship, which just so happened to be luring them into the indestructible broadside of this legendary vessel. And... They got anchored. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, blast them, blast them. So we never got over. I'm trying. Okay. I'm going over. If I, I stop losing angle. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, don't get me stuck under the boat. 
If everything fails, uh, sleep them. Okay, right. I've got them. I've mm. got them here. That's I've got front master. Yeah. Oh, they're sending a flag. I've bagged one. Nice. I'm gonna guard. Yeah. Just keep shooting. The box is in the cabin up top, by the way. Okay. Does he make? No. Oh, he's, he's here, 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 here. Oh. He's done? What was he doing? Sleep them on the boat? A rigging by them? Yeah. Uh, losing angle. No, we got them here. We got them here. Oh, he. Good adventures. Look how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also blasting them oh. behind them. I'm, I'm gonna board them then. Yeah, yeah go, 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 go. I think, we, I think we just go. I think we just go for it. Yeah, blast them. We, we don't have angle anymore. Do you all cancel at all, Tail? I've killed someone. <laughs> yes. We did it! Viper meta! <laughs> yes! We did it! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> So, our first attempt at using the curse wall of the real black pearl went extremely well, but we wanted to make sure it wasn't just a fluke, and that meant doing it all over again. So with another anchor ball in my pocket, we set up the Lords of the Sea tool tail once more and awaited an invasion. Now, the plan was the same. We would juice them up by engaging them in battle around the Coral Spire with the aid of Davy Jones, get them wanting to chase us, and then bring out the real Black Pearl. However, this crew seemed to know who I was, which was extremely fun. Oh my god, Toxic Sinclair! Until one of them said... Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't nice, to put it lightly. But this meant that that one crew member on that ship was extremely mad and foaming at the mouth to fight us. You good? No, I'm not good, bro, because you're running the whole time, so it's not fun. This is funny. No, it's not. I know it's you, Toxie. No. Yeah, GG. All of the pieces were in place to bring out the real Black Pearl. And so, with the Flying Dutchman sunk, we'd progress the tool tail to its final stage once again and attempt to curse this enemy crew with the Black Pearl. Right, I'm ready. I'm pretty much ready. The window is closing. Slowly. I mean, yeah, I see them. Thing? I'd go for the anchor ball uh, now if you want. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I'll go yes, over there. Yes. If you hit it, we need for window to go, yeah. They sent one. Oh, that's you. Okay. No, that's me. That's me. I got it. Nice. Uh, I can't get the back mass, I can only get the front. I can get, I can get it's the back fine. I can sleep them as well. I can sleep them as well. The secret to winning our boss is Davy Jones. Sorry, baby. <laughs> They're not happy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you <laughs> toxic, I am sorry. So toxic. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hey, you need to find your friends, but these guys ain't great. Just go have fun. Just go have fun. Hi. Hello. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that he's so toxic. He does not mean it. Well, he means it, but yeah. Um, well, he's getting bad. Please don't mind it. He's getting bad. Please don't mind it. I'm so yeah, sorry, please do not. Okay, that one kid absolutely hated this strategy. And I mean, it certainly works, but we can take it even further. Remember what I said about the Wraith Balls? Well, it's time. Wraith Ball arc never ends, baby. Having procured another anchor ball along with a set of Wraith Balls from a Ghost Fleet World event, we set out one final time to push the Black Pearl's curse to its absolute limits. Now, we had been invaded as I was clearing the Coral Spire, but this was perfect. This meant that the enemy crew would be chasing our ship around the Spire while we progressed the Tool Tail. All we needed to do was juice them up a bit and get them chasing us, and during the chaos, we'd be able to unleash the real curse balls of the real Black Pearl onto them. And yeah, they were itching for a fight. And so, while they chased us, we sunk the Flying Dutchman and spawned in our indestructible, real Black Pearl. I'm on the, I'm on the Pearl. I can do this. Yes.
We've lost both around. I put us around. Yep, we've lost both masks. They're out. Someone is uh, boarding us. Yep. I anchored them. Nice. If you anchor them, go for the rifles now, honestly. Yeah. Bought it. Getting bought it. I missed one. Killed him, he's dead. Uh, bucket, bucket for window. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I only hit one of those, by the way. They actually have an angle when they come down. I believe it is now safe. Okay, get some mass repairs in. <laughs> can you keep them locked in for the position, Toxie? Yeah, I can. Right, there's one on mast. I'm going below deck. Okay. Trying to get us around. Can you rest? Okay. I really can't right now. <laughs> okay. I killed one. Nice! <laughs> oh, we did it! We did it! Yes. <laughs> yes. You did it! You did it! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> it's game! <laughs> we died to bots! Oh, let's go! Well, I can't get over just how fun this was. If you haven't seen it already, then check out my previous video on the subject, which focuses on the Flying Dutchman aspect of the tooltale. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.